inserting and deleting rows and columns. So hopefully you've done the same changes that I have so far. So your table should look something like this by now. So let me show you how you can insert rows. For example, maybe we want to insert something after sales and have another indicator to review our employees after. So what you would do is you would select the column from the very top, so I'd press the E button right here, right click and press insert. And as you can see, it inserts a column right before the customer service one. Now, the other formatting thing that bugs me, uh, and before I go into that, I can show you how to insert a new row as well, so it does the same thing. The other thing that bugs me is that this table doesn't quite look perfect, you know? It's nicely formatted, but things don't really seem equal. It's not tidy enough. So if I want to delete these blank rows, I simply right-click, and press delete and do the same here. And I'm back to my initial table right here. So how can I make this look exactly the same? Well, I could try reshaping it automatically. So if you double click on these uh, borders between the columns right here or in between the rows, as I showed you in some of the previous lectures, it will automatically resize the row or the column based on the longest character here. So if I double click here, as you can see, it just takes enough to cover the sales that are written on top, same for customer service and same for admin. But that doesn't quite do the trick for me. So what I want to do is select all three of them and then Whichever one I want to reshape, I can do it and it will set the same size for each and every one of them. So right now, because customer service is my longest one, I'll take customer service, I'll drag it down and just test it a bit. And as you can see, it's actually longer now, even though I made it shorter because the other ones gained a bit of width as well. So I can play with this as much as I want. And as you can see right now, it looks pretty good. It looks very tidy and I can do the same with the rows right here. So if I just drag this down a bit, everything now is exactly the same size. And I think you might agree that this looks much better than before.